Japanese. Good morning everybody, it's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. This is Mrs. Claus. Saw her out and about. Hey Michael. Just trying to get through the gate here. Just gonna say hello to Apollo since Apollo is celebrating her birthday today. But you can't go to Apollo and not see Mrs. Claus and Nabisco. Of course, they are waiting on breakfast, so they're very excited. But here's the man of the hour. Here's Paolo. Happy birthday, sir. We have five birthdays today. He's like, but I'm the most important one. This is Apollo. He's a Siberian lynx. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Say happy birthday. No, you looked very cozy in your cooler until I came over and then you had to get up, of course. Oh, goodness sakes. Yep, it's Apollo's birthday and Chaos. It's also her birthday. It's also Kilona and Dryden's birthday. And Nabisco. Where are you gonna go, sir? He can't decide where he wants to go now. What do you think? He's a birthday boy today. Where are you gonna go? Look away from you, lady. Yeah. He's already had his breakfast. Are you gonna settle in somewhere? You get back on your cooler That was very cozy. It's very, very cozy. We'll let him settle and we'll say hi to Nabisco real quick before he eats. I know Jamie's on her way over. Hi, Biscuit. Happy birthday, little boy. Yeah, happy birthday, little boy. Nabisco's our youngest resident, and today he is officially three years old. Nope, one track mind. He knows food's coming. Yeah, Apollo is 22 today. Nabisco is three. That's Mrs. Claus over there. Mrs. Claus and Nabisco are fed by Jamie, and Jamie's over at Moses and Bailey right now, so they know she's close. All right, you settled down. Yeah, now we'll come see you. There's that handsome boy. Here's that handsome birthday boy. Sponsor any of these cats for their birthdays if you want to. Just go to bigcatrescue.biz and right on the home page there's a link for all the sponsorship kits. And again today, and the reason for that is a lot of times when we rescue cats or we get cats in, we're given very little real information. And so a lot of time we have to kind of guesstimate. We might know a month or a year, but not an exact date. So we put them on the first. Thank you, Christine, for your donation. Yep, we have a birthday biscuit today. about each of these cats if you go to their bio pages at bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. So for any 
appreciate you guys watching today. Uh, if you're one of our regular viewers or if you're brand new to us, tomorrow's a very exciting day. It's our very first um, Big Cat Rescue Giving Day, and there's a link to it if you look in the description of this video. Thank you, Marianne, for your donation. And so we will be going live several times tomorrow. We should have a pretty exciting day fundraising to end cub petting is what we're dedicating this year to. He's just so handsome. All right, let's go see if Nabisco will allow us to watch him eat his birthday breakfast. Looks like he got maybe chicken breast or turkey breast. Unfortunately, because we do have birds and vultures, thank you, Kristen, for your donation. We have to put this layer of mesh around their feeding lockouts, and that's just to make sure that the birds can't steal their food. But it doesn't make it easy to actually see them. I'm wondering, let me try something real quick. I'm wondering if he'll allow me to watch this way, maybe. Nabisco. It's also his birthday today, his third birthday. He was only about six months old when he arrived here. He's eating chicken right now. Hi. Yes, uh, tomorrow's giving day, um, all the information is on the page that the link I have listed uh, in the description, but for tomorrow's Big Cat Rescue Giving Day, we are specifically uh, raising money to create campaigns against cub petting. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Nabisco has weight fluctuations like crazy because it just kind of depends on the time of year. Plus, he's still a growing boy. He's had a couple awkward teenager stages and then he gets really fluffy in the winter. So we'll go live multiple times tomorrow. You guys can definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, the reason that Nabisco and Smalls, even though we believe they came from the wild, um, the reason they couldn't be rehabbed and released is a lot of states uh, have different laws, so not every state allows rehab and release. These guys came from the Dakotas, um, and what happened is when they were found, they were then taken care of by people that were not rehabbing them, so unfortunately they were imprinted on people equal food to these guys, so they weren't going to be eligible for release. They'd already been handled by humans and I, I believe attempted to keep them as pets. But all of their stories are on the cat bio page, so bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio to learn about these guys. Are you done? It looks like you got a clean plate, which means that soon you're going to realize you want to play. So I'm going to back away. So again, this is Nabisco Bobcat. It is his third birthday today. And Mrs. Claus is over there. She's also eating breakfast. Did you get every last bite? Get every last bite, sir. It's like 
like a switch that'll flip when he realizes I'm right here. Thank you, Erica, for your donation. Wow, you guys are doing amazing today. It's people like you guys donating to the cats is why we can take such good care of them. We have an on-site hospital. They get really, really good nutrition and health care. Lots of awesome enrichment. Birthday boy, are you almost done? We do actually have a rehab and release program here at Big Cat Rescue. You can learn all about it at bigcatrescue.org slash bobcat hyphen rehab. Thank you, Tess, for your donation. And Mrs. Claus was actually a part of our rehab, but she has neurological damage from, we believe, an attack prior to her coming here um, and was not able to be released. Right, birthday boy. Good job, biscuit. <laughs> and here's one more shot of misses. And slink away. So let's say hello to Apollo one more time, then we'll hop over and maybe see Smalls real quick, and then I'm gonna have to call it a day. Hi. All right, one last shot. You're also a birthday boy today. So this is again Apollo. He's a Siberian lynx. And today is his 22nd birthday. He was originally saved from a fur farm. He had been destined to be a fur coat, but luckily was brought here instead. Hey, Mr. Paulo. Alright, let's go see if your wild neighbor's awake. And it's also Kelona and Dryden's fourth birthday today, but there's no way that they'll allow me to show them. They're way too shy. So, that's kind of out of the question. And Chaos is also kind of the same way. She's generally a little shy and hissy. I might try to show her later this week, but I might have missed my opportunity this morning since I've already had breakfast. Smalls! Where's that small girl? There she is! Hi, pumpkin! So we will end with Smalls today. Where are you going, lady? Into my den. Small girl! She's being sneaky in the den. When they had to lock her out a couple weekends ago to this favorite side of hers, she has been acting a little out of sorts, like she's a little more paranoid. You can see they put a brand new ramp in because hers was starting to fall apart. So I've been trying to suck up to her. Where'd that little girl go? Where'd that little girl go? There you are. You're so silly. You just wanted me to chase ya. So Smalls is also a bobcat. She actually came in on the same rescue as Kelona and Dryden and Nabisco. Hey, bring that little tail over here. Bring that little tail over here. So thank you so much to the six people that have donated today. Hi, if you're just joining, we've already seen Apollo, Nabisco, and Mrs. Claus. Just trying to do a quick little live before my staff meeting today. 
What are you, you got something in there? Oh, all right, we just figured out what it is. I'm pretty sure she has a squirrel. <laughs> now I know why she's being sneaky with the den. Yep, she's throwing it around. Okay, excellent. Well, that'll answer the question. Everybody's always like, do they catch things? Yep, they sure do. Small's got herself a squirrel. <laughs> well, thanks for showing it to me. I know you was trying to be sneaky about it, weren't ya? Okay, I have to go tell Catherine. I have to go tell Catherine, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, this happens every couple of months with her. <laughs> and this is, so that I like to bring up this point because everyone's like, well, they're wild animals. Just set them free. They'll, they'll learn to hunt and they'll have instincts. That's true. Um, Smalls definitely knows how to hunt and kill, but she won't eat them. So it's, unfortunately, it's a waste of life. She has a squirrel. <laughs> so... Yeah, and it's gonna be fun to get it away from her. Okay, well now I know what I'm about to go do. No, she usually won't eat it if she does, maybe only parts of it. <laughs> Excellent, well thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Every day is unpredictable. Yeah, now she's chewing on it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go find a long pole. Thank you guys so much and definitely tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a really big day with lots of lives. We're very excited about it.